Hey you guys, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. If you guys are watching the replay, let me know in the comments with hashtag replay. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click subscribe right here with this button. And if you guys end up loving this video, give me a thumbs up to show appreciation and show some love. So today, was it wasn't a question of the day, but it was something that I see a lot of people still doing wrong on Instagram, especially for business and entrepreneurs. So I wanna talk about six hacks, SEO, search hacks that you need to be using on Instagram every single day in order to get more visibility and therefore to get more followers, more people looking at more eyeballs, looking at your Instagram page for your business. Because the problem is, is that, okay, what is SEO and what is search? Quite literally the way people find your profile. Okay. But the problem is, is that we're not all Kim Kardashian. We're not Kylie Jenner. When people go to the Instagram search and they want to look for those people, they're quite literally typing in Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian. But the problem is like me and you, until we reach that level, a lot of people don't know us by our names, but they know the type of product, service, or problem they want or they want to solve for their business. So that's why it's so super important that you guys are utilizing search on Instagram, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys six like search areas you need to be using every single time that you post on Instagram. Cause like I said earlier in this video, a lot of people, especially online entrepreneurs are wondering why is no one looking at my Instagram profile? Why am I not getting any likes or engagement on my Instagram posts? How do I get more followers on Instagram? And this is an easy, this is probably the easiest thing to update. So you guys know that you can get more, you know, likes, engagement, followers on Instagram. So I'm going to give you guys the six tips or six places that you need to update and consistently use in order to get more eyeballs on your Instagram profile, because this is not one of those tips where you can be like, okay, like one, th one tip I'm going to give you is to use hashtags. So this is not one of those things where it's like, okay, I use hashtags on one post and then the next post you kind of forget about it. And then you keep going down that route where it's like, okay, I did it once. So I don't need to do it again. The, these aren't the type of tips that I'm telling you. Okay. These, these are tips that like, when you realize that you're not doing what I'm telling you, you need to do it consistently and you need to do it every single day because that's how people find you. Okay. We're entering in the world of search. And as the world moves more towards voice, we need to make sure that we're specifically telling our ideal clients what exactly we do and how we can solve the solution so that, or we have the solution to their problem, how we can help them solve their problems. Because if we keep going on this trend of just like the me, me, me method, where it's like the Kim Kardashian photo with the Oprah Winfrey script, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is me, I'm the best, da, 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 da. if you keep posting like that, no one is going to, no one's going to know what you do. So let's, ha let's dive into the six places that I want you guys to optimize on search for Instagram. Because like I said, I see a lot of people doing this wrong still, and this is probably the easiest, easiest, easiest thing to update and to maintain, to make sure that you're getting visibility and more followers on your posts, no matter how bad your content is. Okay. So the six places, so grab a pen, <laughs> I have a click funnel pen, grab a pen, grab a notebook, write these down. And these are things you need to do every single day. Okay. Especially on the posts. So the first thing that you need to be doing every single day on every single post. So the six, there's, um, six, but the post and the hashtags or the location tag and the hashtags that I'm going to tell you go for the post in the Instagram story. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is to use a location tag. Okay. Write that down. Use a location tag on your Instagram story and on your Instagram post, because at the end of the day, people now can follow Instagram or Instagram story, um, hashtags. They can follow hashtags and they can follow location tags. They can literally follow anything they want. It's kind of moving towards the route of Pinterest where it's like, they no longer have to just follow your profile. They can start following hashtags on Instagram stories and on regular posts. So what you want to do is you want to add a location tag to every single Instagram story and every single post. Okay. So those are the first two tips is the location tag, write that down. 
because the reason why you want to add the location tag is because people search for specific locations. Now, your post does not have to be, so let's just say you're in Starbucks and like you're posting about your business, but you're like, oh, it's on a Starbucks cup, so I don't want to tag Starbucks because it has nothing to do with the Starbucks business. It doesn't matter because there's other entrepreneurs that go to Starbucks and if they see your content because they're also in that Starbucks and they're just quite literally bored and they want to go on the location tag just to see, you know, what the vibe is of that Starbucks or like what it looks like because they're visiting from another city or another town, they're going to stumble across your content if, since Instagram's a time sensitive platform, if they look at the same time or if you're ranking in that location tag. You can rank in location tags. People search for location tags and you should be utilizing them on every single post on your, on a regular post on Instagram and on your Instagram story. That's another easy, easy, easy way to get followers and more visibility on your page because when people search for locations, okay, like I said, the location tag on Instagram posts or Instagram story, they can see the stories too. And people are more inclined to look at the Instagram story because that's more real time. It's more realistic. They can see what's up in that like area and whatever. So the first two tips, they kind of go together because they're the same thing. Location tags. Okay. When you do a location tag on Instagram, you need to be utilizing it on every single post. This isn't something where it's like, okay, I did a location tag on one Instagram story, so I'm not going to do it on the next one, okay? No, you need to do it on every single post. Now, people are probably like, okay, Kylie, I want to do a location tag on every single post, but quite frankly, they look ugly. Like, I don't want that on, you know, my amazing sunset picture. Like, I don't want it on, like you know, the infographic that I just made that took me like five hours to make. And it's like, you know what? You can minimize on the story, the location tag and hashtags. Okay. And I will get into, I'll do, I'll say that for the end of the video on creative tips that you guys can use. So you can not make your Instagram stories ugly because you don't want it taking up like the whole screen. I totally get that. I'm the same way. So the first two tips, which go hand in hand are super important. Location tags. You need to be utilizing them on every single post and you need to be utilizing them on every single story. Now, this is another hack that I want to give you guys on location tags. Let's just hypothetically say my life's boring. I don't go anywhere. All I do is go to the same coffee shop every single day. Like, am I supposed to tag the same location every single day? No, don't do that. Why? Because when you go out, okay, so for example, I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's see if I can, I actually have a pretty good view of Philly right now. There's Philly sitting in my car, like always. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's a good view. So anyways, I'm in Philly, okay? Let's hypothetically say I go to the same Starbucks every single day, which I do, okay? You don't want to keep tagging the same exact Starbucks because guess what happens when you do that? you're quite literally only putting in your information on that location. So what can you do? Tag another coffee shop. Tag, you know, what's in front of me, which is Philadelphia City Hall. You can tag, like, the restaurant that's in front. Like, you can tag any sort of business or location, whether that be, like, a park. It can be an area, like, for example, in Philadelphia, the Eagles play at Lincoln Financial Field. You can tag your posts in certain locations that will benefit your business as well. So let's just hypothetically say you sell yoga clothes, start tagging yoga based businesses where like people got like core power yoga or, you know, places where people do yoga, because what's going to happen is when people search for that business, they're going to see your content. Let me know in the, in the comments if this is making sense for you guys, whether you're watching now, watching the replay or watching on YouTube. So, uh, Melody says, um, love your videos. Thank you. You're so welcome, Melody. Thank you for commenting. So let me know if this is making sense. So for location tags, you don't have to be boring about it. No one's going to know if you're at the Starbucks or if you're at an Allegro coffee. I'm just naming it like coffee or coffee shops off the top of my head in Philadelphia. No one is going to know, nor are they going to care which coffee shop you are actually in in that exact moment. That's why it's so super important to switch up the locations because remember location tagging is free advertising for your business. Social media is free advertising for your business. Don't be boring about the locations that you choose for your Instagram story 
and for the location on your Instagram post, okay? Switch it up. You're still in the same city. If you want to switch up cities, go ahead. No one's quite frankly going to know. What you don't want to do is you don't want to like show a picture in Philly and be like, oh, I'm in Miami Beach. Like, don't lie. Don't like be flat out lying like that. But if you add in a location tag, what you're doing is you're allowing other people to be visible to your content that quite literally wouldn't be visible to it before. So the one influencer insider hack that I have for you guys is switch up location tags. So use location tags every single time you post on a regular post or your Instagram story, every single one. Okay. And I'm going to give you hacks later in the video as to how you can make it look pretty and cute for your Instagram story. So people don't see it necessarily all the time and switch up the location. Don't always use, like if you go to the same Starbucks every day, you go to the same gym every day, no one cares, okay? Switch it up, especially if you're providing value-based content for your business, because the fact of the matter is no one's gonna be able to find you if you keep tagging the same exact location, okay? And I also refrain, like I, I try to make the location as specific as possible. You can like tag Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but just know that since that hashtag or location tag has a lot of population on it, like, like a lot of posts, don't hold your breath for being that visible on that, um, location tag or hashtag, which is what I'm going to go into next. Okay. I would say, say as specific as possible because Philadelphia will also like if you, okay, hypothetically speaking, let's just say I tag myself in a Starbucks in Philadelphia. Sometimes the Philadelphia tag, which is like the bigger niche picks up my story. So I'm featured on the Starbucks story and I'm also featured on the Philadelphia, um, hashtag. And if I get really lucky that I get featured on the United States story, which actually just happened this week, which is like kind of crazy when that happens. Cause it's like someone's viewing like the United States story and then they see my story. So that's pretty cool. So make sure you're also specific to where you're tagging yourself at. Okay. And another thing about being specific, don't be too specific where it's like, Oh, I'm at this like corner by our uh, tag yourself at like the fire. I'm looking in front of me, like tag yourself at the fire extinguisher, like on 23rd and whatever. And it's like quite literally no one has ever tagged themselves there before. And that's a no go too. like, make sure people actually go to the location that you're tagging yourself in. Okay. <laughs> so remember, add location tags, add location tags in your Instagram stories every single time that you post every single time, write that down. Okay. Don't want you to forget that. Cause the problem is, is I will give this tip and I know somebody watching this video, they will do it once. Maybe they'll do it twice, three times, and then they'll forget. But the thing is, this is free visibility. Okay. Don't forget that this is free advertising space for your business. Utilize it. Okay. So the first two tips, like I said, location tag on Instagram story and Instagram story post. Okay. So the second two, so there's six, the second two also go hand in hand and they are hashtags. Okay. So like when you do a hashtag, like Philadelphia, hashtag Philly, et cetera, et cetera. So in your post, you're allowed to do 30 hashtags on Instagram. Use them. Okay. My hands like shaking because it's like so cold in my car. It's like cold in Philly today. So I'm like really bad at like regulating the temperature in my car. If anyone else is like that, let me know. I'm like <laughs> either one extreme or the other. So anyways, use hashtags in your posts on every single Instagram post. Like I said, this isn't like a one-time thing and then you forget the next day. You have to use it every single time because like I said, it's 30 free ways to get visibility, get eyeballs on your business. Now I'm going to give you a broad tip on how to utilize hashtags like the best for your profile and your business because I see it far too often that people just start out on Instagram and what they do is they'll write hashtag dog, hashtag horse, hashtag business, hashtag entrepreneur. And the problem with that is when you click on those hashtags that are in a very broad niche is that they are already infiltrated with multi millions of posts. And I'm talking like 300 million, like hashtag woman crush Wednesday, hashtag love. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So if you have under 10,000 followers on Instagram, please, please, please focus on hashtags that have under 2 million posts 
for that hashtag, okay? And the reason for that being is because we want to rank on the, so Instagram divides their hashtags into two sections. Top, which means they're the featured ones, they're the ones getting the most engagement, they're the ones that, you know, Instagram is like keeping up there for a while, at least, and for a while on Instagram is like a day. <laughs> keeping up there for a while or they have the most recent which is the most time sensitive one so if you're posting on hashtag entrepreneur which probably has 150 million posts per hashtag your post is not living there for a long time like and when I say it's not living there for a long time it's probably living there for about two minutes okay until you got to like scroll all the way down to see your post okay therefore it's not really doing anything for the visibility for your business and for your Instagram so what I want you guys to focus on is if you have under 10,000 followers on Instagram, focus on utilizing hashtags that are around, now this isn't like a cut and dry 2 million, under or around 2 million posts per hashtag. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a brief example. So instead of saying like fitness, which probably has like 300 million hashtags, you can say fitness girl, which will probably, I don't know the exact number of that, but it's gonna have a lot less than fitness. Does that make sense? Because you're taking it from the niche hashtag to a long tail keyword. So what is a long tail keyword? That's essentially describing your niche in a like giving it a little more oomph and like verbiage and juices or ad adjectives, I guess I should say. I don't know, I took English like back in first grade. That was a while ago. So anyways, what you want to do is you just wanna briefly explain your hashtag and be more descriptive about your hashtag. So for example, instead of entrepreneur, say hashtag female entrepreneur. Instead of business, say hashtag online business. If this is making sense, let me know in the comments, you guys. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know watching now, replay or YouTube. So you want to use 30 hashtags per post. Now, like I said, this is, I'm doing this video at the end of August in 2019. So if you're watching this video in two years, that could change, but this is happening right now. Okay. Use 30 hashtags per post. You can't use 31 or it won't work. So just try to get upwards to 30. If you only get 29, you're fine. Just know that you're missing that one spot of free visibility. That's how I always look at it, is like, where are my opportunities for free visibility on Instagram? Hashtags and location tags are amazing ones, okay? So if you're just hopping on now, the first two things that I said were Instagram story location tag and post location tag. And now I'm covering hashtags on posts and on the Instagram story, because you guys should be utilizing this every single time that you post. This isn't like a, you know, one and done, I'm done for the month. You need to do it every single time. So for a regular post, you can use 30 hashtags. And the quick tip that I give you, if you're under 10,000 followers on Instagram, try focusing on hashtags with posts that have under 2 million hashtags per post. Now you're probably thinking, well, I want to be seen by everybody. I want to be in hashtag love because I want the whole world to see my posts. That's not how it works. Okay. You want your posts to live in the hashtag. So if you're posting hashtag love, no one is seeing it because the second you press submit 800 million other people, that was a little bit of exaggeration, but <laughs> You get what I'm saying? A lot of other people are also using hashtag love, especially the people that aren't using it for business, okay? So now that you know this, start utilizing the hashtags that are under posts of two million per hashtag. How do you find out that information? Search for it, okay? Search hashtag female entrepreneur click on it, you can see the amount of posts per hashtag. So if you're under 10,000 followers, like I said, stay under 2 million because you want to try to get your post to get enough engagement to live in the top section. And that's where people are going to get like, see your business for a while, get eyeballs on your business, get people to click on your profile. And hopefully if you have your profile set up correctly and you, you provide great content, they'll follow you. So same goes with Instagram stories. So like I said earlier, when I was talking about location tags is that people can follow hashtags. Okay. Which is amazing. Like it's so cool. So let's just say if I want to follow the hashtag female entrepreneur, now Instagram picks for like which ones, like I, th I don't know how, I don't know the process of filtering it out. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. 
um, filtering out like what type of content that they pick. I'm going to assume the one that gets the most engagement for the posts, but for the hashtags, I have no idea. But all I know is that you have a better chance of getting seen on a hashtag story than you would on a hashtag post. Okay. Cause hashtags last for 24 hours. So it's amazing. And you can, they show multiple ones in a row. I think they probably show, I wonder what the max is that they show on a time, but I want to assume that's going to be like around 15 to 20 compared to just like one post. So what you guys want to do is when you post hashtags on Instagram story, I would say to post between two to five hashtags per post on Instagram story. And I say a number that's that less because it's going to get annoying because this is what I mean by it is when you post hashtags on Instagram story, Instagram stories, one, don't last forever. And two, they last for 24 hours. And like when you're doing them, it's kind of like, okay, I'm taking a picture of a dog or I'm doing a boomerang or something like that. And you quite literally don't have time to be like, oh, which hashtag should I use? Or like, how can I edit this? So like, it needs to be quick. Okay. So how do you do that and stay consistent with your content without worrying about the hashtags is don't make it a big deal, okay? If you can only push in one hashtag in that moment, that's better than none. If you can do a couple, great. You don't need to do like 80,000. I don't even think that's a limit. I think the limit is like 15 or something. But I have never done 15 hashtags on a story, nor will I probably ever. I don't like, stories don't last as much. I worry more about the hashtags that I use in my Instagram post than I do on my Instagram story. I always say that hashtags in an Instagram story are like the cherry on top. So when in doubt, push one. If you have time for two, great. If you can fit in three, awesome. But just don't go by without putting in at least one hashtag because like I said, it's just a missed opportunity and people can follow hashtags on your in on Instagram story and on Instagram. And like I said, if somebody's following female entrepreneur, the female entrepreneur hashtag, they're going to see the post plus the Instagram story. So don't forget about that, okay? Make sure that you include the hashtag every single time that you post. So let's recap. I went over four out of the six. So the first two were location tag on the post, location tag on the story, hashtags on the post, hashtags on the story. And I'm gonna do a re-reminder. These are all non-negotiables for your online business, especially if you're really only focusing on Instagram. Because guess what? This is search. This is how people find you, okay? Because people don't know your name. They know what they want answered. They know the type of content that they want to see, but they don't know you. We're not Kim Kardashian. We're not Kylie Jenner. Unless Kim or, Kim or Kylie are watching this, hey, what's up? But <laughs> if you're not at that level, people aren't searching for your name unless you're famous, okay? So what do people search for? They're searching for the solution to their problem or they're searching for people that they want to follow. For example, female entrepreneur, maybe they want to follow online business or maybe they want to follow motivational quotes. That's what they're searching for. So if you include those in your content, they're going to see your content. But if you never include search, people aren't going to find you. That's just how it works. Okay. So these are really non-negotiables for your business. So I'm going to go into the last two. It's kind of funny how they all pair together. So the last two have to do with your name. Okay. Your name is actually searchable on Instagram. So when I say your name, the last two is that your name, like where you type in your actual name. So for example, I would type in Kylie Francis, your name is searchable. Not only that, but your at name is also searchable. So my name, because I'm a little bit up there, I have 136,000 followers online to date. People are searching for my name because of the quotes that I produce and the type of content that I provide and because I have a following online. But if you are just starting out in your online business or maybe you're having or you're struggling to get people to see your content, try adding a niche keyword into your name. So for example, if you're in CBD and you want to type in like Kylie Francis, you can type in Kylie Francis like CBD oil or like your name on Instagram could literally be like CBD oil for moms. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be your name and it's actually better if it isn't your name, especially if you're first starting out. And the reason for that being is because people are searching for what they want. They're not searching for you just yet, which is fine. 
people will find you easier if they can search for what they want. They're still led to your content, but you're changing the name so that people can search for you. So my name on Instagram is Kylie Francis Entrepreneur. That's what I have in the typing part, but my actual name on Instagram is at Kylie underscore Francis. But like I said, I have quotes and I have a following on social media, so people are actually searching for me. But if you're just starting out on Instagram, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you put in the search who you actually are or what you sell. So if you're selling CBD oil, you could, and this is another problem too that you're gonna run into, which is why you need to be creative, is that your at name is probably taken. So for example, at CBD oil is probably taken, okay? But if you sell CBD oil in Hawaii, look at CBD oil Hawaii, okay? Write that in the name of your description. So you could write Kylie and then put a little line and be like CBD oil Hawaii, okay? If I were to be living in Hawaii, if I had CBD oil, because that's what people are searching for, okay? So tie in your product, tie in your service, type, tie in the type of person that you are, plus your name, because remember your name really isn't that important just yet, and I know that's kind of hard to like let that ego down and be like, okay, people really aren't actually searching for me, but they're searching for my products, which is amazing because that's how you make money and that's how you make business, and that's the whole point of this Facebook group is I'm teaching you social media marketing to post for profits, okay? This isn't about getting famous, this is about growing our business on social media. So tear down that ego wall and be like, okay, people are searching for me. So how can I incorporate search terms in my name or maybe in my at name so people can find me easier so they can find my products and services. Let me know if this is making sense in the comments, you guys. So those were the last two tips. So I'm going to wrap this. Oh no, I was going to give you guys the hacks on, um, Instagram story. So I'll wrap this up and then then I will give you hacks on the Instagram story to how to make it look cute because I said before that people are probably like, well, I don't want to add hashtags and location tag on my Instagram story because they would be big and like taking up the picture if I have like a pretty sunset picture. But I'm going to tell you guys a couple hacks that you guys can do to make it look cute. So I'm going to wrap this up. The first part, the six hacks. So the six hacks for SEO, which is search engine optimization and search for Instagram that you guys need to be using every single day. Like I said, on every single post, every single time you post on Instagram, these are really non-negotiables if you are serious about getting seen on Instagram because that's quite literally the only new way that other people can find you on Instagram because like I said, we're not famous, we're not celebrities, people aren't necessarily searching for our name and if they are, it's like, needle in a haystack okay it's like once in a blue moon it's not every single time like someone searching for cbd oil you have a far better chance of someone finding you in the search for cbd oil than maybe kylie francis okay because people are searching for cbd oil okay so what are the six search hacks that you need to implement every single time that you post location tag on instagram stories and posts now my hack for that is that don't use the same location tag every single time that you post because you're like, even though you're technically maybe in the same spot, you don't have to be that specific with telling people where exactly you're at. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, people really don't care. The whole point of doing that is to get people that go to those specific locations, because when someone else is searching for that location and they stumble across your content, it doesn't matter if you were there or not. Okay. They need to see your content. So that's, and then if they are interested in it, because maybe they're your ideal clients, they will click on it and go to your profile. So search or sorry, location tags, story and posts, non-negotiables. Okay. The second two were hashtags. Now you can use 30 hashtags for a post on Instagram. And like I said, this is end of August, 2019. If you're watching this in five years, this advice could be like, Instagram might not even be a platform. So this is like right now use 30 hashtags for your posts. And like I said, if you're under 10,000 followers, make sure that you're you, a, the majority of your hashtags are centralized in hashtags with posts under 2 million posts per hashtag because our goal is to be seen on the top page, not in the, like it's always going to be in the recent page, but you want your posts to rank in the top search results. Okay. And in order for you to do that, you can't be like competing against like people posting an entrepreneur, people posting in like 
business, people posting in fitness because it's just infiltrated and the people that are already famous on Instagram already have that spot taken up, okay? So focus on um, hashtags with posts under 2 million posts for, for that hashtag, okay? And brief example of that, so instead of saying hashtag business, write hashtag online business, okay? Instead of writing hashtag CBD, you can write hashtag CBD oil. So those are just two that I were off the top of my head. So um, hashtags and posts and hashtags and Instagram stories. Now hashtags and Instagram stories are really the cherry on top. Don't overthink it. You shouldn't even be thinking Instagram story in the first place. So don't overthink it. Just use it as a cherry on top. What does that mean? What is a cherry on top? It's like you build the Sunday and you do a little off a where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm entering myself in the lottery to be seen on Instagram. So what are you going to do? Add in a hashtag. If you only have time for one, do one. You Maybe you got two, do two. Can you do three? Go for it. But it's just a cherry on top strategy. Don't overthink it. Just include one and it's better than none. Okay. Like I said, you're entering your, every time you use a search on Instagram, you're entering yourself in the lottery to be seen by new people on Instagram. That's why it's so super important to make sure that your non-negotiables are always the first for search are the name which clearly if you update your name you don't have to update this all the time this is kind of like a one-stop shop then you're done make sure that there's search terms in your name the written name and the at name if especially if you just started out on Instagram now I'm not saying you have to change your at name on Instagram it's just something that you can do if you're finding that you're struggling with visibility on Instagram so like I said earlier if you're you know selling CBD oil and you live in Hawaii Write in your name, CBD Oil Hawaii, okay? Because people are searching for that. They're not searching for you because we're not celebrities, okay? That's just tough love for me too, okay? <laughs> and you can add that also in your at name. So you can literally have your at name be like at CBD Oil Hawaii if you want to. Or if you just want to keep it your name, that's fine. I'm just letting you know that it's searchable. So if you're struggling, don't be afraid to add those search terms into the name. So those were the first six tips that I wanted to give you guys. Um, Dintro, thank you always for the great information. You are so welcome. I'm so happy that you guys are loving this. And he also said awesome. And um, okay, Todd says every Instagram post should have 30 hashtags. Um, yes. So, and like I said, if for the people that are just hopping on, I want you guys to like think about like this is like a simple mindset shift that you can make. Now, in order to be seen online, people need to be able to search for our content. How do people search on Instagram? The first six places that I told you, okay? But if you don't, and I, like I said, it's like a hashtag or a location tag is like entering your name into the lottery. That's literally what it is. So you have 30 chances. You have like 30 tickets per post to enter yourself into the lottery, okay? For someone, for maybe an ideal client to see you. Maybe it's your next client. Maybe it's somebody that's looking exactly for you. But they can't literally find you if you don't add search to your posts, okay? So I know people are probably saying, oh my God, 30 hashtags, that's like crazy. I don't know how I can do 30. Make like write down popular ones that you use like all the time. You don't want to use the same 30 every single time, but you're going to probably end up like if you're selling CBD oil, I don't know why that's my example. I don't sell any, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> If you're selling CBD oil, there's a pretty high chance that a lot of your posts are going to have that hashtag, okay? So yeah, you want to switch up the hashtags, but at the same time, there's like a good chance that the majority you're probably going to use over and over and over again. So 30 sounds like a lot, but at the end of the day, it's really not. And what's more important is if you're going to place the efforts onto Instagram, why not make it count? Why not get that return on investment? Like you're creating, you're spending all this time, like creating content and like creating this post that like, you know, it's amazing, valuable content. Why not have people see it? Right? So if you want people to see it, you have to add that, that you have to add the hashtag. You have to have that ticket to enter yourself into the lottery. Okay. Because every ticket you leave out, you're just like missing that chance for ideal clients to see you. All right. Same with location tag. Make sure that you're adding in that information because if you don't, your ideal clients cannot find you. So yes, like I said, it's make sure it's under 30. Never do 31, 32. It's 30 is the limit as of August, 2019. So maybe someday you only have time for 15. Maybe sometime you only have time for 20. 
that is fine. That is better than none. Okay. Remember <laughs> one is always better than none. So when in doubt, at least do like something, because if you do every single post without a location tag or a hashtag, you're literally just like, like, what is even the point of posting on Instagram? Because no new ideal clients can find you. And yet, like you can still provide value to the people that are following you. But it's better to make sure that you're getting the maximum ROI on your post just by simply adding a hashtag or a location tag. Shakira says, finally caught you live. Hey girl, how are you? I hope you're doing so well. So I want to give you guys um, hacks for your Instagram story because I'm like rambling on. And I have like five minutes till I have to get a CrossFit. So let's go. Okay, so here's your hacks to make your Instagram stories look pretty with the location tag and the hashtags. Now, like I said earlier, people, like you don't have to like make your location tag. So if this is like the size of my screen, it doesn't have to be like covering up this much of my screen in order for people to know that that's the exact location that I'm at, okay? If anything, like a lot of my Instagram stories, I don't show the location and I don't show hashtags. I still have them on there. You guys can go check at my Instagram at Kylie underscore Francis. Every single story that I post has hashtags and location tags, but guess what? You don't see them. How do I do that? Am I a magician? <laughs> Kind of, sort of, but I'm not the only person that knows this trick. A lot of people know this trick, but I just want to give it to you guys so you guys don't feel, so like if people feel like, oh, I don't want my Instagram story to be ugly, don't worry, I'm going to give you the tip right now. So what you guys can do is, is you can minimize, so if you write out your hashtag, let's say your hashtag, for example, is CBD oil. Let's keep on that trend, okay? Type out CBD oil. Now, the first thing that you can do is you can minimize it. So you literally take the hashtag and you pinch it together. Keep pinching. You can make it super, super small. Just make sure it's on the screen and it's good, okay? Another thing you can do is you can change the color, okay? So for example, if this were my Instagram story right now and I put a hashtag here, like let's just say this was the screen and I typed in CBD oil and it lands right here, you can change the color to this color so it blends in, okay? Does that make sense? change the color of the font to blend into the background. So it doesn't matter how big or how small the hashtag is, people still won't see it because it's the same color as the background. Does that make sense? So those were two of the ones that I use a lot. I also hide my hashtags behind emojis. I can hide it behind words. Like let's just say I type something out like new YouTube video, click here. I can hide my hashtags behind words. Um, but I love hiding them behind emojis, especially my location tags. I always hide them behind emojis somehow, <laughs> or even like I said, if I write something out, I'll hide it behind that. You can also tap on the location tags to change it from like some, I know they have three colors right now. It's like a white black background with purple writing, a white background with rainbow writing, and then gray. So it's kind of see-through, but it's not. I don't really understand that one because <laughs> it's like, uh, Instagram, I can still see it. So you can hide all of that behind emojis, or I say emojis, emojis, GIFs. That's what I wanted to say. I hide, I had them behind GIFs, emojis, GIFs, and words, or you can minimize it. Like I said, you can minimize um, that as well. Now, unbeknownst to my knowledge, you can't change that to match the background. If you can, let me know in the comments, but don't think you can do that for location tags. But it's okay, because when in doubt, just minimize. So if you don't want your hashtag in your Instagram story taking up the whole screen, you don't want the location tag taking up the whole screen, because I'm right there with you, I think it looks really ugly sometimes, what you can do is simply just minimize it. So how do you do that? Go on your screen and you pinch it, okay? You can pinch it down as much as you want. Just make sure it's on the screen, okay? Which I mean, like don't drag it off the screen, because I don't know if that like affects anything, but just keep it on the screen, pinch it down, and there you go. So that's really all that I have to say for today. Running late, gotta go to CrossFit. So if you guys love this video, let me know in the comments. I'm so happy that all of you guys commented today. I love when you guys chat with me on live streams. I love when you guys ask questions. If you guys love this video, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. And if you guys have any questions, whether you're watching maybe a couple hours later, you think about things and you have another question, watching on YouTube, don't ever hesitate to let me know in the comments. I always go back and answer your guys' questions, whether it be about this video or if you have any other questions related to Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook marketing, anything you guys need help with, I am here for you. So let me know in the comments. 
send me an email, send me a DM, any one of your questions, because your question could quite literally be the topic of my next live stream and obviously anonymously. I don't know if I just said that or not, but it's always anonymous. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys on the next live stream. Bye guys.